can you imagine someone putting a gun in your hand and go tell you, go rob God? What would you probably say? What, what would you probably say? Well, people rob him every day. Matter of fact, some of you sitting here are God robbers. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, why did God use the word rob? See, it's two ways you, get, you can get things from people. You can steal it or you can rob. And God said you can't steal from him. In order to steal, that means the person did not see you. And, or they wasn't home. You broke in their house while they were gone and you stole it. Since God always sees and he's always home. You have to rob him. Amen, somebody. Now, Robin is just low down. Robin said, I just don't care. I'm going to take what you got. Why are you looking? That's what Robin is. Robin, Robin is just belittling someone, just saying, I don't care about you. I'm just going to stick you up and rob you. And you better not say too much. Amen. So God feels the same way about being robbed. You know, so when, when God is robbed, the next thing he says, okay, you're cursed with a curse. Now, he's not just talking about money. Do you not know why so many people have so much bad, I ain't no bad luck, it's a curse. Because bad luck get off you sometime. A curse will ride you to the ground. Do you know not why so many Christians have a curse on them and everything falling apart is because they robbed God. Now, you can't expect God to bless you after you rob him. It's going to go beyond your money now. Can I talk to somebody? Don't thank God when he's talking about curse. He's just going to hit your pocketbook. Somebody said, oh, you're trying to scare people into giving. No, listen, I'm trying to teach you into blessing. Teach you into the blessing and the overflow of God. Man, I feel, oh, God. God is going to open your eyes in a few minutes like never before. So people are going through all this trouble. Everything falling apart in every area of their life. And they still don't have enough sense. To realize I can't rob God and expect the blessing of God in every area of my life. And I believe you love me enough that you will give me mine. And that's what God, that's what God messed up with a lot of us. And when I say God messed up, now he knows what we're going to do. And he just give us something so we can prove to ourselves, you know, Sometimes I hear people talking about their gifts. I'm a prophetess. <laughs> yeah, but are you a planner? Oh, I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I speak in tongue, but yeah, after your tongue, are you a planner? <laughs> I'm Dr. Bishop so and so good. <laughs> are you a planner? Some folk want you to bow down when they walk in the room and hold them up like they somebody and then they rob God. It doesn't matter who, who you say you are. The thing is, are, do you plant into the kingdom of God? Our title means nothing if we are God robber. We, we, we ought to have that little, you ever seen a commercial on TV about child abuser? Say it would be easy if you could spot a child abuser and when they turn around on the back of it say child abuser. Well, what some people need with their title is prophet God robber. <laughs> Hallelujah. Holy Ghost field shouting sister brother, God robber. 
can't sit down running all over the church? God robber. Hello, somebody. Ask your neighbor again. Am I sitting beside a God robber? Say, I hope not. Watch what God does. He trusts us. He trusts us that we would give him what belongs to him. Yes. Now watch what, watch what happens. Watch what happens. Devil ain't going to make me trip. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Look, God is saying, the reason I want you to give to me is because what you need is a harvest. Give me one of all of your what? Increase. Of all of that you increase on, I just want one. Take it and plant your seed into the harvest.